Play through, play through from the start. New expedition beginning at this instant. Perfect. And I'll post them all on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me let me see that quantum moon. It's gone. We getting up. We getting a marshmallow. It's so weird without like a HUD, because I'm so used to every game having a HUD. I will talk to all the people. I'm just making a perfect marshmallow. That is that fire? No, it's a little. Eh. I'll eat it. That's, that's a good marshmallow. I'm talking to this guy by the fire. You gotta narrate, bro. Okay, I'll narrate. Sorry. Hold, jump to <laughs> jump a hold and release. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Okay, here we go. We've got the nice, the nice music. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to fly a ship. Hold on, I gotta check the controls. Okay. Horizontal thrust is the left stick. Up, down is RTLT. I don't know rotation. Oh no, I got this. Let me drop this in the geyser. Easy. Hey, that John is in the earth. Wait, I'm gonna wait for the geyser to pop it up so it'll shoot my camera up. <laughs> that John, I'm literally looking straight at the table. You know how it makes you feel? Yeah, I'm looking at the table because it's following the. That John is legit in the earth. I'm waiting for the geyser. I'm waiting. Is the geyser going? Please tell me it's going. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait here forever. <clears throat> I just saw the sun pass over and now it's gone, or I saw the shadows pass over. I really like how much water there is in the game. Like, the oh, days yeah. are so quick. And the shadows are just flicking by on the table. I'm just waiting for this stupid geyser to shoot my face into the sky. Yeah. Nice sunlight. The geyser? Oh! Oh! It might be. No! No way! It's being transported to another geyser. It's moving around uh, underneath the earth. Uh, Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, we can just leave it in the center of the, co of the core of the earth, you know what I mean? Oh, there's the inner loafer. Where am I going? Porphy, hey yo hatchling, I heard I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. Yippee! When you return, let you, me, and Goss and open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the one star. Actually, other stars are too far away. Another <laughs> metaphor ruined in May and scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Let me go look at the Outer Worlds Ventures thing. Root Leo or whatever his name was. They're actually blasting off from that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rocket seem they seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Alright, let me see the, the slide. Ooh. Ooh. Hint 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 to Echoes of the Eye. What 
The um. The uh, the slideshow, the Outer Wild Spencer's postcard from Orbit slideshow. Probably just a slideshow. I mean, it's just a slideshow, but hint, hint. So it's a launch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old, isn't it? It about time you built a new, less flammable one. That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Nice try. We you, we all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically me. Uh, you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? A gludge? He's gludging that tree. Oh, I never noticed. What? Wait, I had never noticed that. Jaden. Where the Outer Wilds Ventures um, <clears throat> uh, slideshow is, is built in a giant hollow tree stump of which also supports the launch tower. Did you know that? Did you know the launch tower is built on a giant hollow tree stump? I did not ever realize that. I never saw that. No, I never saw that. I would have remembered. No, I never saw that it was built on top. Went, like, went in the hollow tree stump, yeah. But I never realized that the launch pad was on top of it. That's interesting. I just never, that's just something I never saw. Because I always looked at them like, I never looked up. Talking to Nice Now, Banjo Girl. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, don't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure, I made all of their instruments. You know, let's, 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 let me see. There's church, drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabber School. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull onto your signal scope and track them down. Let me track them down. Oh, I don't... Wait, I do have my signal scope. I didn't remember that. Oh, the moon. It, the whistling. Let's see who else I can find. Who? Oh, that's Gabra. Let's see who else I can find. Who's that? That's the moon again. No, who's that? That's the moon. There's Feldspar. That'll be... Wait, what? Oh, it's Feldspar again. That's from the seed. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna play hide and seek. Cause I already know what they... Ah, I just fell off the cliff. Die. No, I'm living. I'm just floating down right now. Cause I already know where they all hide for hide and seek. It, does it, hide and seek yeah. is a good game. I mean, generally, but hide and seek is just yeah. a good way to introduce the signal scope. But I know the signal scope, and I know where they hide for hide and seek. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing housing past the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier with that you around to land a hand. That big water plant at Giant's Teeth, that's where I'd go. I think that's where I'm going to go. One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Cabo told me about their first trip to Giant's Teeth. Going their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Grabber wants to see what lay beneath the, the surface. 
So they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabra couldn't go any further. Uh, tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It helped Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it, the tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear any stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back. Spindle. Ah! <laughs> I, I'm actually stupid. I Whenever I move, I've been holding down RT because I'm so used to Rocket League. <laughs> I'm driving, bro. I'm driving. Oh, the ghost matter. Let me jump in. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh, I for dude, it sounds crazy, but I forgot about the twin planets. What? Like, like now that I see them again, it's like oh duh, but like I forgot about them. Yeah. Or like I just forgot how they looked and what they were, and like the sun station. Like if you gave me like five minutes, I could probably name all the planets. But like at this moment, there probably will be planets that come as a surprise to me. Like, uh, almost I, there. I, I was a surprise of, like, oh, I forgot that Ash Twin and Ember Twin are locked in a circulating, like, loop. Are, like, locked in, what's the, uh, orbit? The, uh, yeah. Let me, let me try and list them all. Uh... Tim, what's this planet called? Hold on. Timberhearth. Um, the moon. What's Ad that? The Addle Rock. Yeah. And Ash and Ember. Brittle Hollow. Um, Giant Steep. I almost called it Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the seed thing. The, uh, uh, don't tell me. I'll, I'll find out eventually. Oh, it's nighttime now. Um, yeah, I actually don't know. Don't tell me. I actually want to find out later. Um, the, yeah, I don't know what it's called. I know, I know that's where the big fishies are. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. Set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last time, last night I heard Rabbit Banjo, Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. I'm going to equip my signal scope. Okay, so that's what well, I like. I see the planet. Yeah. Like with the ice and all that, but I don't know what it's called. That's crazy. It's like corrupted. Uh, dark bramble. There you go. Um, and then there's the the inner loper, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, and the moon. Like the volcano moon. Is there anyone else? There is one more. Like the the quantum moon. Yeah. And I don't need to do the zero G training. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. My computer's like dying. It's dying. Can you hear it? Yeah. Legit, you're gonna hear the fan. That's funny. Yeah.
Probably a desk. No, 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 a laptop because I'm traveling. Okay. It's actually dying. No, it's fine. Probably. That would be crazy. That'd be so crazy if every- Well, it actually might shut down. Is what's funny. Do that Windows closes thing. No, my- No, my skeleton? Oh, that's funny. It says that you can tell that they possessed unusually only three eyes. Because these guys have four. Yeah. Parthius could not have descended from no mine. Where's the, where's the fishy? I'm afraid it's gonna jump scare me. Oh, there's the <laughs> fishy. The anguished fish specimen is found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It says a baby. No baby pokey bear. <coughs> My pokey bear angler fish. Map. Yeah. Let me make sure I got everything. Oh yeah, there's the satellite, and I forgot about the sun station. I wish they had more planets. That would be crazy. They should add another DLC where it's just like two more planets. And yeah, 100%. And look, they're making Rocket League too. Except it's been in development for like a billion gajillion years and no one cares. In in Unity 5, so it's supposed to be like a ton better. But they're not like doing it. Time to get our newest astronaut uh, off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool. I confess I've been getting all day just thinking about it. More better than ever done really Oh my god, I don't know how to do it I don't Yeah. My computer isn't dying so much. What's your plan? I'll meet up with the other trappers. You're gonna check in with them, aren't you? Not a plan. Not a bad plan. Not a plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Ryback is on Border Hollow, and Gavro is on Giant Steep. Last I checked. And well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are or if they're even alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed at the Outer Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local. I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit, nevertheless. Well, it looks like that's all I'll be using. I mean, I don't know. Find it for lunch. Give me off this rock. Let me get the launch code. Let me get off the ground. I'm gone. Let this statue thing look at me. Let me look at his beautiful eyes. <coughs> I'm jumping off the balcony. I died. Quantum. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me read this. Let me read this. Let me translate. We're nearly ready, Felix, and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What? Ah, it's looking at me. It's touching me. What? <laughs> it's tickling my brain. <laughs> it just sucked my it just sucked my soul out. <laughs> Guys, it's giving me brain. I'm gonna jump off the waterfall now. Hi. <laughs>
Dude, I've listened to this guy more than... I know it doesn't make sense, but I swear I've listened to the guy that talks to you as soon as you see the statue more than I've talked to anyone else. Even though it's impossible for me to do that. The stupid guy. It's so annoying. How? Should I jump off the waterfall? Uh, it's so boring. I just jumped off a cliff. I'm dead. <laughs> Bong. Wait, what happens if you jump off a cliff before your memory gets saved? Is it game over? Yes, yeah, it's game over. That's I Ian got that ending. I remember. Yes. Yeah, Of the geyser. All right, it's time to get. It's time to get off this rock. You know what? You know what? I'm setting myself a challenge. No autopilot. I'm about to become the pilot god. I'm him. I'm setting my route so I know where it is, and that's it. I'm going to Giant Steve first. Oh, let me like. Let me just get everything ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. The eject button. Maybe I should use that thing. Okay, let's see. So, we got to... View the map. Lock on the giant steep. And I guess we're just going. That's crazy. Yep. And because the arrows allow me to align myself, so I actually can fit where I'm going. If you're a skilled expert like me. Oh, I'm going away from it. Oops. Oh, I'm getting pretty close. I'm overshooting. How do I thrust up? There. Oh, I'm, I'm too fast. I'm entering. It's time. Here I go. Whoa. Man, this place is scary. I actually made it too. I'm impressed with myself. How do I roll? How do I roll? Whoa. I'm in the water. You know that, that interstellar scene? Yeah. Where they land on the water? Oh, I'm going here. I'm going here. This is the this is where the construction place or something. Yep. All right, guys, I'm here. There's potted plants. There's skeletons on the floor. There's something with a cyclone. Oh, I remember. It's something like some, depending on the ways the cyclones turned. Something, the ground, something. Bones on the floor. Can I kick this guy's head? Not to be disrespectful. Like a, like a soccer ball? No disrespect, but like a soccer ball. Oh, the scrolls! I forgot about the scrolls. Pick up scroll. Alright, here we go. Time to read. I love reading this stuff. 
Kosova says, this is it. We finished building the final orbital pro cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit and around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many others' attempts have not. Blech. Are you going? Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm bothered by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Malo and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. If I know my brother Avens and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we gave Avens and Molo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their engines. Yeah. Ship log update. Guys, it's really windy. Oh! We're in the we're in the air. We're in the sky. We're in space. We're in space. We're in space. Space time. Getting some getting some hang time. Doing a trick. Do a flip. The island should do a flip. That'd be crazy. Oh, I always hate when the water rises up to our level. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's see what else we've got down here. The computer's dying again. Oh, the water's all rising. Okay, that place is blocked off, but I can go there. Dude, the No My music is so good. Dude, literally. Oh, I hate this too. It's so trippy when you're hanging off the side. Oh, I better not fall in the water, else I'll literally die. I'll literally close the game in a fit of genuine fear. Okay, I'm at a new spot. There's a diagram. It shows the cannon. I don't know what this stuff is. I generally get the idea of what the pro cannon is, but I don't, I don't remember it that much. Pick up control module projection stone. I remember the projection stones. Let's see what's in there. Huh. Okay, so that's one of the one of the areas. And this game is scary, genuinely. It's six minutes. This game makes me feel like I'm being watched. Not in, not, not not outside the game, but in the game. Like Solonum is watching me the whole time. Six minutes, 34 seconds ago, a long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Log updated. There's a wall there, but I, no, I can't put a scroll in there. Wait, yes I can, yes I can. Remove the projection stone and put it in here. And it'll write something, won't it? Yes, it will. I have bad news, Havens. Yara says there was a problem with the proposed power source. The orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive in here, Kasuba. I wish I were on my front, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem. So the orbital probe cannon is not on an indefinite hiatus. So prove it, Mal, they should turn from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Enough that Mal and I will join you and Daz. Prove it left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Ship log updated. Uh, there's nothing else over there. I think I'm going to head back and go wherever else there is. Did I take the long way? Of course I did. Trees detected, oxygen reached. I'll probably go to bed after this next death. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll just go to Brittle Hollow now. This place is freaking me out too much. Yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm saving this for another time. I'm done with Giant Steve. I'm going to Brittle Hollow. Oh, there's the... Oh, there's the white hole! That I forgot about. I'm just rotating around Giant Steve trying to find where to go. Oh, there's that... That's Brittle Hollow? No, that's... I'm flying away. There we go. There's Hollow's Lantern. There's Brittle Hollow. Well, I got quite a bit to match. Oh my goodness, I'm so dismatched. There we go. We're centering up. Centering up on Brittle's Hall. This is going to be a tougher landing. I'm going too fast. Jaden, I'm going to about to die. From slamming into the planet. Brittle's Hollow. Whatever. Shut up. <laughs> no, I'm actually fine. I slowed down in time. How do I rotate? Ah, I crashed. Wait, I'm actually fine. I didn't do any damage. Okay, there's the launcher thing. Oh, yeah, the launcher thing. I forgot about all the launchers. Uh, whatever. We out of here. I've been shot. And <laughs> someone's shooting me. Someone shot me. Alright, Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Projection Stones freak me out, because then I can't see what's going on in front of me, and I might be shot. Oh, it's the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, or whatever. This I remember how to get into. Which is interesting. You know what's interesting to me? Is that I never put together... I, I had to get a hint from YouTube how to get in there. Which is funny because it's so simple. Shut the tower from the road, too. Yeah. I'm at the shuttle. I'm Oh, it's Solanum. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from here. My gratitude for the direction bell. Bells, I'll see you soon. Ship log update. Let's see what's down here. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, it goes down. I'm getting sucked. What? Oh no, that's a that's a push up. Oh, this is where I go down, I guess. Dang, that's crazy. There's just this skeleton here sitting on a bench. Like bro is totally chilling. It's so sad now you know what happened. Like, he was so chilling. He's, he's... That's just... Right? Oh, I can, I can probably make that jump. Huh? Yeah. So, it wasn't like a, yeah, but still, like, just imagine you just, like, are gone. Alright, I'm gonna make the jump. Well, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I can totally make that jump. Never mind. Cool. All right, now I'm at the launch station. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Let's call the shuttle home. We have called home. Solanum's shuttle. We called home. Oh, and then I launched it, and now I'm going to bring it back. That was just to update the ship block. 
No. That means gravity. The shuttle has been called from. I'm gonna hop on that thing. That thing away. The crossroads, the west 350 meters. I like how they use the meters. Alright, let's see what's in this thing. There's no skeletons, I don't think. Just saw them as the only one. It is still creepy though, because everything in this game is creepy. Okay. I'll hop off in just a minute. I am here after watching it wonder wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand. For the first time on a quantum run. As expected, my shuttle has landed at five. My journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum river always welcomes his visitors at the South Pole, just that this is true. As a child, I consider such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. Interesting. Yay, first step. Wait, no, second death. The first real death. Alright, cool. End of end of first episode. Bye.